What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is kind of like a gear review, but not really. So my last video was getting the John Mayer sound, but with a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, right? A very budget-friendly amp and a very accessible amp almost around the world. And it really nailed that great clean tone, took pedals really, really well, had a great reverb. But what if you want to spend a little bit more money and get into the two rock world? We all know John is famous for doing these two rock amplifiers, but what if you don't want to spend that 5,000 plus, for example, to get a classic reverb or get a traditional clean? Well, then you can look into the Premier Builders Guild era, which some may say is a super weird era in two rock. But at that same period, they delivered and made an incredible amp in the Studio Pro 35, which in essence almost is like the current traditional clean, but in a very, very smaller format. And to quote Two Rock on the amp, they say the Studio Pro is Two Rock's workhorse amp, provided the ultimate clean platform for defining your sound. The essence of Two Rock's 6L6-based single-channel clean platform with a knack for professional-level performance and versatility. The Studio Pro incorporates a range of tone shaping controls, including master volume, gain, treble, middle, and bass with pull boost, level, and contour controls. Delivering extraordinary clean headroom and dynamics with pure Two Rock clarity, the Studio Pro features Two Rock's signature reverb, with send and reverb controls, along with a half buffered effects loop for voicing options. As you can see, we had the one by 12 combo. This amp is maybe one of the most underrated two rock amps currently. Like I said, this amp came into production during the premier builders guild era, right? So it's kind of a weird era for two rocks. Not a lot of people like those amps. They were doing some weird, different models. But the Studio Pro 35 is so underrated. And you can find them for about $2,500, which is significantly less than the entry point for a current Two Rock model. So today's video, we're going to plug in the Studio Pro 35, run it through the aux with some pedals, and check out the incredible clean tone as well as some classic John Mayer type songs that we can achieve with that same amp. So let's go. Alright, Studio Pro is plugged in and sounds incredible. Today's rig is the Silver Sky into my pedal board, into the amp, into Aux, which is running a 2x12 2 rock cabinet with a 57 and a 121, which is a very common recording setup. And already you can hear the high fineness of the amp. So much clarity, 
if you go to the next pickup such an incredible clean platform and we all know these two rock stamps are so expensive right classic reverb traditional clean they're on the higher end of the spectrum with amplifiers right but the fact that you can get one of these studio pros for less than three thousand dollars is such a killer entry point into the brand you have all that signature two rock clean hi-fi sound takes pedals incredibly well, but at a much cheaper entry point, right? And for all of us, because we're here, we want to relate the two rock stuff to mayor stuff, go to position four with neck and middle, and you get that classic slow dancing type tone. <laughs> This amp is like, wow, it's 
right at the entry point of do I get a deluxe reverb or do I wait a little, save a bit, and make this jump and get a Studio Pro 35? It's really something. The clean tones are just like the hallmark of the amp, obviously. Grab the pick and you can do. This amp, basically, it wants to be played. That's why I don't really know what else to say in this video. It's just, my God, go on the, let's say, bridge and middle pickup and you do. Add some delay. Neck pickup, let's roll tone all the way off.
just random jazz chords. <laughs> a very classic, I think, two rock solo for Mayer is the uh, Waiting on the World to Change solo, maybe? Let's try it out. amp is it's really good so yeah if you want entry point to the two rock brand check out the studio pro it's pretty slept upon if you can find one on reverb go for it it's a great small portable amp that packs a punch that even with the yox we had the master volume at about at about 11 o'clock but there is so much volume in this amp because it also has a secondary master on the back of the amp that you can just put up as well. Two Rock recommend keeping it right at noon. So this amp can keep up with the drummer. And if you mic the amp in a more live environment, then you're good to go really any venue. Takes humbuckers really well. In fact, they sound even more like a jazz guitar. If I plug in my 335 real fast, The vibe of this sound is very like arch top guitar. So that is the Studio Pro 35. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the Studio Pro 35 amp from 2Rock, which is such a killer bang for your buck and super slept on amp. I know it was from a dark era of that amp, but quite frankly, who cares? The amp delivers all of the classic 2Rock cleans, the hi-fi sound, the reverb, all the pulls on the tone controls, the contour, even has the pickup loading in the back to adjust if you're playing single coils or humbuckers. Has so many tonal options at a much, much cheaper entry point to the brand than the current models, right? 
again, who cares if it's from a dark era of the brand? The question is, does it sound good or not? And the answer is obviously it sounds incredible. So I highly recommend you if you can find these amps and if you're in the market for these amps, don't shy away from the Studio Pro 35. So that is today's video. Not really a gear review, but just more of a playing demo showing the tones. <laughs> so if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.